hospice. A house divided. Equal numbers of those in favor of legislation allowing terminally ill patients to end their lives and those opposed. I love life. I love being a parent to my 17 year old son working to become a minister. For Alexa Fraser, the issue is incredibly personal. She told a joint house committee the story of her father who with Parkinson's tried to end his own life first with pills, then cutting his wrists, finally a gun. Alexa revealed she has a rare form of an aggressive cancer. And now I know what I will die of. I don't know when, but I do know what will take my life. And it won't be pretty. I want the ability to choose a peaceful death with my family around me rather than one filled with pain. The bill allows only the individual to request medicine to end their life. They must have a prognosis. They will live for only six months or less. They must prove they're a Maryland resident and have a mental capacity to make the decision and must request three times for a life-ending prescription. It is self-administered. It has bipartisan support. Baltimore County Republican Chris West graphically detailed his mother-in-law's death. We found the rigid body of a woman who had obviously died in agony, her neck extended and her mouth open, distended in mid-gasp, and her eyes were bulging out in horror. My wife went into hysterics, and my reaction was, this just isn't right. Those opposed say the legislation is flawed and being pushed by the insurance industry. I think the financial incentives, to be honest, are what's driving this, both from insurance companies, from families. They point out mental health conditions are ignored. It makes suicide socially acceptable. There's no way to predict an accurate prognosis of six months to live. And there are no safeguards for the disabled. One Maryland physician's group is taking a neutral stand. Still, plenty of doctors oppose on the grounds it violates their Hippocratic Oath. Allowing physicians, not somebody else, but physicians to actually prescribe something that can kill a human being. The legislation has failed to pass for several years now. Opponents argue there are no real differences in this year's proposal. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.